Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over the top 10 extensions that I would recommend using in Visual Studio Code for 2021. Now, before I start the video, these extensions are not in any particular order and these are based off of my personal opinion. Each extension on this list is based off of how useful I think it is and if I would recommend it to anyone else. With that said, let's jump right into the video. So number one on this list, I have auto rename tag. If you're writing any sort of HTML code, React, or anything that involves tags, you need this extension. If you want to rename a tag, you can just rename one and the, autom and the opposite tag is renamed automatically. I definitely recommend it because I find it extremely useful and I think that this can save lots of time. And if you were to have a very long file and have to change a tag that started at the top of the file, you would not have to go to the very bottom to change the closing tag. Just change one and the, and the other tag is changed automatically, which saves a lot of time and is extremely convenient. Next extension on the list is Bracket Pair Colorizer. This extension, at least for me, is very essential. If you have many pairs of parentheses, square brackets, or curly braces, it will be harder to know which curly brace, which parentheses, which bracket belongs to which pair. With Bracket Pair Colorizer, for each pair, it will have a different color, so you can see much, much better. This is a must have and I highly recommend that you install it because this will make your code so much easier to read. So number three on this list goes to React Snippets. If you like to save a lot of time writing code, this will be very handy. This extension allows you to type in shortcuts and then those shortcuts will write code for you. For example, if you were to write out a component, if you type in RFCE, it will automatically create a function that functional component for you. As you can see, I'm scrolling through all the commands and this is useful for many cases. This can be used in React, Redux, React Native, as well as normal JavaScript. So if you like to save a lot of time, this extension is a must have. So up next on the list, number four is VS Code icons. This really just depends on what type of person you are. This is all up to personal preference. Um, it's basically an extension for file icons and out of any other icon extension that I have tried out, this is my favorite. You guys can use any uh, other one if you would prefer that. But for me, this is my favorite one and I prefer using it and I do recommend it. So number five on this list is Prettier. Prettier is a code formatter and it makes your code more readable and just fixes any sort of indentation, mix of quotations and semicolon use. As you can see in this video, I'm formatting this JavaScript file using Prettier. You can use the default formatter, um, but I prefer using Prettier and it just makes the code a little bit more readable and just cleaner overall. So number six on this list is Git Lens. Git Lens is an extension that I find very useful. It's basically Git, but supercharged. You get effortless revision navigation backward and forward through the history of a file. Um, you can see the commits that you've made, repos, file histories, uh, line history, and many more. Git Lens is basically Git on steroids and it's integrated with VS Code, making it very easy to use. So I would 100% recommend that you install it too. So next up on this list at number seven is Code Runner. It's pretty obvious um, by its name. It's an extension used to run code. You can run snippets, files, etc. Um, it has support for many different languages, even languages that aren't used as often anymore. And this, this extension is great for executing code. You can highlight a snippet and run it, um, and it'll give you the exact output for that snippet. So I would highly recommend that you guys also use this too. So next up on this list at number eight, is the community material theme or the material theme. Um, this is an extension for color themes and it brings a good amount of options and customizability. Um, it has many themes to choose from and I prefer using the high contrast. Uh, this is really just all up to personal preferences, but I prefer using this just because it looks great and it has a ton of options. If you'd like to try this out, I'd highly recommend that you also use it. So number nine on this list is the live server extension. This extension is crucial if you develop sites just using plain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Instead of having to refresh each time that you make a change, you can just save your code and it'll auto-refresh. Um, it makes it extremely easy and saves lots of time. Once you install this, you're, you're not going to regret it at all. And this is definitely an essential extension for web development. Last but not least, at the 10th spot, I have import cost. Um, this is an extension um, that can help you know how big a package is. So if you're more of a person who cares about space and application storage, this can let you know how big the package is. I only use it because I like to see how much space these packages are occupying. You might have a different purpose, but I would recommend if you care more about space. 
So that will be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully these extensions will be handy for you. If you'd like to see more content, please like and subscribe because that will help a lot. If you have any suggestions, comments, questions, concerns, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to reply. Thanks for watching.